tiptoe through English, exploring the word toes. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to focus on a small but significant part of our body, the toes. Yes, those tiny little things at the end of our feet. This video is part of our health and wellness series in the parts of the body section. So, let's step into the world of toes and explore how we can use this word in English. Firstly, let's talk about what toes are. Toes are the small, stubby parts found at the end of our feet. Humans usually have five toes on each foot. The toes help us balance and walk. It's a very simple word but a vital part of our vocabulary when discussing parts of the body, especially the lower body. Now let's see how we can use the word toes in English sentences. Here are a few examples. 1. I stubbed my toe on the edge of the bed. 2. She painted her toes with bright red nail polish. 3. He has long toes similar to a monkey. From these sentences, we can see that toes can be used in a variety of contexts and not just in the health and wellness domain. English language also uses toes in idiomatic expressions. Let's look at a couple of examples. 1. On your toes. If you're on your toes, it means you're alert or ready for whatever might happen next. For example, the surprise quiz kept the students on their toes. 2. Tiptoe. When you're tiptoeing, you're walking quietly and carefully on the tips of your toes. For example, she tiptoed out of the room to avoid waking the baby. That wraps up our quick exploration of the word toes. We've discovered what toes are, how to use toes in sentences, and even learned some idiomatic expressions. Remember, learning English, like learning to walk, takes time and practice. So keep taking those small steps. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this video helps you on your English language learning journey. Keep practicing, stay curious, and see you in the next video.